is up guys, Thaddeus here. Hope you guys are having a great day. It is currently 5.20 in the morning, Friday, March 2nd. I'm about to head off to Thailand, uh, literally soon. But I wanted to make a video for you guys. In this video, I actually wanna like, give you guys some like solid, actual tactical strategies you guys can use for Facebook ads to show you guys like how, you know, I generated $10,000 in one single day, in less than a day technically, uh, and just how you guys can actually kind of go about doing that too, and kind of the methods that I found like work for me really well, just cause you know, Facebook ads, there's, there's processes that, you know, um, don't work for everyone, right? Like if, if there's one way to do everything for Facebook ads and for any sort of paid ads, like everyone would do it. Um, and that's just not the way it works, right? But I wanna show you guys what works for me really well and kind of give you guys some actual tactical value that you can just take from this video and literally after watching this, go do it yourself, okay? And like, I want you guys to comment down below like how these results turn out for you guys when you test them out and stuff like that. Um, it is sort of a process, it's not like a very lengthy one, but it does involve uh, waiting for certain things to kind of play out and that's what I wanna get into real quick. So we're gonna hop in the computer and screen share some stuff for you guys. I wanna show you guys the actual results first so you know I'm not talking out of my ass and then go through um, the uh, the actual value stuff for you guys, okay? So let's hop in the screen. All right guys, so as you can see, I'm super small now in the video. You're seeing a screen now with some numbers and, and you know, as, as you guys can see, okay, so $10,000 or $10,384.71 and if we go here, you guys can actually see all this was made on December 25th, so technically Christmas um, um, on that day, right? So this is showing you the sales over time throughout the day, this is showing you online store visits, repeat customer rate, um, total number of orders, average order value, um, just because some of you guys think that like the only way to make a lot of money on dropshipping is to sell like really expensive stuff, which is not necessarily the case. You can sell a bunch of cheap stuff um, and just sell a bunch of it, right? Um, so there, there's a bunch of stuff um, that, that, I, that I wanna show you guys, and this is just basically like the, the proof, right? Like, oh, I actually did it, um, and you know, this is kinda cool, because basically, guys, with $10,000 in sales and about 15,000 store visits, that's, um, what, two-thirds? So that's basically averaging about 66 cents um, per visitor to our store, okay? Um, which is not like amazing, right? There, there can also obviously be better numbers, but it really just depends on, you know, what kind of ads, what kind of traffic you're getting each day, um, and stuff like that, but, what I wanna run through you guys real quick, right? This is like not too long of a video because it's really just like tactical value. Just like, hey, this is what I did, this is what you can do, uh, like go do it, okay? And so, what I walk you guys through is basically a few things you can set up for Facebook ads and different ad sets you guys can run to actually help improve your targeting, improve your uh, conversions essentially because I see a lot of people starting out, they, they run ads purely for conversions or purchases like right away. And oftentimes that doesn't usually work um, for most cases, okay? And that, that might be why you guys haven't experienced, you know, like the best results for Facebook ads or anything like that. Um, and usually the, the, the reason is just that you guys need to test, you guys need to experiment more and more and more, but hopefully with this stuff that I'm about to lay off for you guys, um, you can actually get some sort of traction going right off the bat. Now, first of all, okay, so, this is a really quick video, but you guys will need to have, you know, a built out Facebook pixel, okay? So essentially that's, I mean, not really required, but you know, like if you guys have watched me for a while, I would say, you know, hey, have your Facebook pixel on your Shopify site. Um, and then, you know, while you're driving traffic from it via Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is, me usually is Instagram, um, but build that out for a bit. Let that kind of accumulate data so that you can kind of let Facebook kind of tell you who your market is instead of you trying to force the market down Facebook's throat and say, hey, this is who I know is gonna buy when you really don't know that for sure. Um, but besides that, guys, so that that's basically like, you, you want that, it's not required, but it would be good to have, okay? And basically, guys, the key to this is running multiple ad sets for different kind of um, objectives, right? But running them at basically different certain intervals, okay? Now, what I mean by that, okay, is basically, Right, for example here, I say more multiple ad sets. So ad number one, right, or like at group number one essentially, okay? So this is, think of it as group one, right? You're gonna run, you're gonna start one ad objective that is purely for view content, like view page content, okay? So you wanna run this ad to get people to just look at the product page of your product, whatever you're selling, okay? You just want them to look at it, okay? Because basically, if you can get them to click on it and look at your product, it means they're somewhat interested in the actual product, they might purchase, they might not, they might add to cart, they might do whatever, okay? But the whole objective of that ad is just to make them view content on your page, okay? That's it, okay? You're not running ads to make them buy, or you're not doing anything like that, okay? So you wanna start that, you wanna start that up first, okay? You want that to actually gain some traction, depending on your budget, right? That It really depends on your budget as like to how soon you wanna launch these next ads, okay? But I'm gonna just go through this first and then kind of break down a few budget um, alternatives for you guys. But basically, right, so you start one ad, which is for view content, okay? Then after some time, okay, depending on your budget again, you're gonna start another ad that is purely for add to cart, okay? So your objective is to get people to add your product to the actual cart, okay? Basically initiate checkout in a sense, but 
But with your targeting, you're only going to target that ad to people that have viewed the content, like viewed the actual product. Okay, on your Shopify site, you're not targeting anyone else. You're not, you know, going nationwide, like whatever, whatever you're doing. You're not, you're not having like a, like a seven million audience size pool like some of you guys start off. Okay, that's not what you're doing. Again, we're being very, very narrowed in our sense that hey, we're only gonna throw these more expensive ads because usually, guys, ad objectives for you know purchases, add to cart stuff like that, it's it's more pricey than you know view content, link clicks, all that kind of stuff. Okay, because again, it's harder to do and it's it's less like there's less volume of people purchasing versus clicking a link, right? But but essentially, right. You're only gonna target the people that add to cart, okay, for that ad, you're only gonna target people that have viewed the content of your page, all right? Does that, does that kind of make sense, okay guys? And then from there, you're also gonna run an additional ad that is just for per, like conversion, like actual buying, okay? And you're also gonna target people who viewed content on your page. Now, basically between the add to cart and conversions, that's just a test, okay? Because essentially, like think of it like this, right? For for example, right, these are just numbers, but if you if it if it, if if you were running these three different ads, right, and it costs you one dollar to get someone to convert, like purchase a product for the conversion objective, versus for the add to cart objective, right, it's costing you I don't know about eight add to carts, right, eight add to carts to get them to purchase, but each add to cart is only ten cents, all right. That means the add to cart objective is cheaper for you by twenty percent, okay. That means it's twenty percent cheaper to get people to add their cart versus conversions, okay? In the sense that like to ultimately get someone to purchase, right? What does that mean? So again, guys, Facebook ads is all about testing. So what that means is essentially now you just pour more money into the add to cart objective, right? There's not really any point in trying to pour more money into the purchase conversion objective unless you're gonna try and re-optimize it to try and beat the add to cart one, right? Because the add to cart's cheaper. Even though there's more, you know, more times it has to initiate, it's cheaper for you, okay? So again, that's just numbers, guys. Again, it's, it's a numbers game. Dropshipping, Facebook ads, Instagram, all this kind of stuff, it's a numbers game, guys. I want you guys to kind of understand and realize. Um, but again, it's just testing, okay? Now, example, ad number two, right? So again, these are the two things that help me generate results with dropshipping. I'm literally giving you guys tactics you can use and take and just apply right after this video. So um, with that being said, guys, I, this is a little plug. I want, not even a plug, but just if you guys could leave a like, um, and share this video guys because I just want I want to help you guys get results okay and then comment you know how you guys did after applying this or just something that like you didn't realize beforehand okay so that that's all I'm asking of you guys for this video now ad number two or group number two okay basically you're gonna make a video of the product this does require a little more effort does require a little bit more um, professionalism in a sense right because you actually have to film a decent quality video a lot of times white background picture videos can work for this um, but again, you know with me I prefer content and lifestyle stuff So that that's kind of the way I go But basically guys you make a video with your product basically showcasing the features its usefulness Whatever it's used for blah 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 like if it's fashion if it's hat like for me if I was selling a hat or shades or braces or something I would have a model wearing it doing lifestyle stuff with it Okay now you're making the video and you're just gonna blast that out there Okay, that's just for exposure engagement whatever you can test multiple different ones Okay, because again, it's about testing right but basically you want to get as many people to view the video as possible So again, you can be testing for impression Okay, or engagement, whatever it doesn't really like. Again, you have to test, so you could just duplicate it as well, depending on your budget. Guys, a lot of this depends on your budget, depending on like how um, versus how you can be and, and kind of your angles. Okay, but you're making a video that you want to get as many people to view. All right, then again, it's kind of like the first group you're gonna make um, an ad, you're making an ad basically with the objective to be add to cart. Okay. Now with that, you're only gonna target people who viewed more than 25% of the video, okay? That means people who actually watched a decent amount of the video because they were interested, blah, 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 right? They didn't just like see it and then, all right, whatever, and they left, right? You, you don't care about those people. You don't want those people, all right? You wanna target the add to cart objective to people who watched over a quarter of your video, okay? And you're gonna have that run again. These first ones, so right, so the the first group ad, right, when you're do, throwing an ad for view content, and then this one where you're doing a video ad, those ones need to be running a decent amount of time before you start running these ads, okay? Not not like a really lengthy time, but just a decent amount of time so that Facebook can actually accumulate some form of audience information, so I can begin displaying you know these other ads to them, okay? And then after you have that one running, you're also gonna start another one, which is the objective is purchase, so actual conversions, okay? But this one, you're actually gonna target people who viewed over 50% of the video. Okay, so 50% basically means that they're, they're more interested than rather say someone who watched only 25%, right? So that's kind of what you're going with and you kind of want to test. Again, you can test a lot of these variables, guys. This is just what works for me. So for instance, you could, for the add to cart objectives, you might want to do 50% as well um, for the targeting of the video, like whoever watched the video, right? But there's stuff like that, guys. But again, this is just ways to narrow down who you're showing the more expensive ads to, to actually deliver, like show ads to a more quality, relevant, targeted audience, okay, guys? So that's literally what helped me generate, right? I'm gonna click over here. 
$10,000 in a single day drop shipping, guys. So literally you can take these tactics, you can go apply them to your store right now um, and see like what, what happens, right? Like again, test, experiment, do whatever you can and just play around, guys. Just don't, don't give up. Don't be one of those people that like tries for a week or a month or even two months and they don't see a lot of results and they just give up. Because again, guys, the drop, sh <laughs> drop shipping is what allowed me to drop out of college. It's what allowed me to get this, this penthouse that I'm in literally living by myself. It's freaking awesome. Um, allowed me to get an Audi R8 supercar. Guys, like, the, don't give up. Okay, guys, test, and I'm trying to give you guys tactics right here. Um, and that's that, guys. I actually did stop selling my course. Um, well, I mean, it's out there, but if you guys notice, like, I'm not actually plugging it anymore in the descriptions and whatnot. Um, backing off from that, I want to be able to provide, provide more value to you guys in, I guess, different sort of ways or alternative ways. Um, so keep a lookout for guys like X Commerce. That stuff's launching and dropping very, very soon. So be on the lookout for that. It's a huge platform of a bunch of people that have really, really insane results of drop shipping. So that's really cool. And then I'm thinking of doing like some sort of like 10K blueprint or you know like a zero to 10K challenge or like I'm already filming a zero to 10K challenge in a week. But I'm talking about something for you guys to kind of like get into building like a group community, whatever that is, um, something like that, guys. So that's uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking of, and that's kind of why I pull back on the course. It is still available as you guys will see in like older videos and stuff. I haven't taken it down. Like it's not deleting everyone in there already still has it, but I'm just saying I'm not pushing that right now. Okay. That's not my, that's not my focus with this YouTube channel. I want to actually grow family, grow community and like actually help you guys get some real amazing results. Um, and the course does that, but I want to try and do this in, in a different way than just kind of um, basically just selling like a bunch of like videos and PDFs and stuff like that. Um, so that's that guys. That's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and comment. Don't forget to subscribe and respond to everybody's comments guys. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I am in Thailand for these next few videos, which could be cool. I might live stream if you guys want to see a live stream, um, like a QA, and a stuff like that while I'm in Thailand guys, me and the boys, um, we literally rented out two mansions with a soccer field in between. So should be fun. Uh, I'm excited to show you guys what's up and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Okay guys, I'll see you guys next one. Peace. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e-commerce related from the mastery course, the free PDFs and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool. Don't give it to me easy, I like a little challenge When it feels better, will you take a little damage? Slow, learn it fast, earn it, stay, burn it, wheels, turn it It's an ongoing, ongoing thing